Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, declaring that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Well, glory to God. I don't know about you, but hey, here we are on Sunday, March 6th. Time is speed. It just feels like time is just running by. Well, you know why? <laughs> Jesus is coming soon. I hope that you are about the Father's business, whatever it is that that he has destined for you to do. I pray that you are walking in it right now in Jesus name. Well, I tell you, I'm walking in what God has given me. I bless his name. I'm so grateful for him just giving me, birthing in me the Christian business connection so that he will get the glory. Nothing about Nona, but so that he will get the glory. So that the ministries, the businesses, the organizations that come through the Christian business connection will get give God the glory that he will be seen in all that we do. Hallelujah. Well, I'm just excited about today's program, but you know, I say that every single week because, well, it's great. It's just simply great. And I want to say first, a special good morning to Mr. Eddie Randall of Eddie Randall and Sons Funeral Home. What a great work they're doing there, right in Midtown St. Louis on Natural Bridge. I encourage you to go to my website, thecbcradioshow.com, so that you can see a link to Eddie Randall and Sons Funeral Home. They truly are there for you in a time of need. Friends, my guests this morning are absolutely great. Oh, my goodness. They're great, great, great. And many of them will be at the upcoming CBC Evening of Synergy networking event. That's right. This Friday, March 11th at 3701 Grandel Square, which is the Urban League Metropolitan St. Louis office. Let me tell you, we're going to have a wonderful time. I'm so blessed, so blessed that the Urban League has partnered with the Christian Business Connection. It's going to be a great network platform for those of you who are in business, ministry, organizations, individuals. Let me tell you, God is going to meet us there. Every single CBC event, the Spirit of the Lord is there, and our evening of synergy will be no different. You see, synergy coming together on one accord, lining up together on one accord. Expect greatness. That's what I believe. That's what I say. When we come together at the evening of synergy, expect greatness. Now, go to my website, thecbcradioshow.com, so you can get your tickets in advance, the tickets in in advance online or $10. Now go to my website, the CBC radio show.com. So you can get your advanced tickets online for only $10. And then if you choose to wait till you get to the door to pay, that's fine too. The tickets are 20. Now the evening includes, of course, the great networking, food, beverages, all of that. Friends, you got to be there. Go to my website, the CBC radio show.com so that you can get your advanced tickets. Now, I also have a couple of booths left. We have vendor booths, but you must call me ASAP if you would like to have a booth at this event. I'm excited about what God is doing. Now, let me get to my special guest today. I tell you, my first guest is special to my heart. He is my pastor, Reverend R.B. Peterson, the pastor of Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center. This great man of God is going to share some things on his heart for the kingdom of God, for the body of Christ, and talk about some great things that are coming up this month at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center. Then we're going to speak this morning with Apostle Damon Cannon. This man of God, my friend, is going to talk about some great things that are happening in his ministry and what's going to be going on also at the evening of Synergy Networking event this Friday. And then we're going to talk this morning to none other than the Bishop of Comedy, Reggie Ridge. Here we are in the month of March, and he's got some new comedy nuggets to share with us this month and a special theme. So don't miss what he's going to talk about and his weekly Christian comedy nugget. 
And then we're going to speak this morning with Pastor Kevin Todd of the Basics of the Faith Ministry. This man of God has got a historical data workshop for the resurrection of Christ that is coming up at the end of this month. And he's going to talk about that. It's going to be great, great, great information for you. So I can't tell you exactly everything that you're going to hear in this program. You got to stay with me this whole hour. Look, tell somebody, call somebody, text somebody, tell them that the CBC radio show is on right now. I'm going to take a short break. And when I come back, we're going to be talking this morning with my pastor, Pastor R.B. Peterson of Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of Synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be speaking with my pastor today. And I'm so excited about this man of God and what is going on in the kingdom of God at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, my pastor, Reverend R.B. Peterson. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Lord. Bless you, my sister and everybody that's listening. We just pray God's richest blessing for everyone's life. Amen, amen. Now, you know, Pastor, I asked this question of everybody. You know, I didn't prep you, but I know you know, I know you know what to say. Oh, yes, okay. I do. <laughs> and the question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Indeed, this is the day, and I'm rejoicing, and I'm glad. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. You know, Pastor, we, we, we thank God for uh, for uh, pre-recording this message because as yeah. we are speaking right now, you will soon be preaching this morning at our church. <laughs> well, we bless God. And for anybody that's catching us, you can go to livestream.com and in the search put in Centered Life Live and you can watch us live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's 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 good news. That's some more good news this morning. <laughs> yeah, God. Just in case somebody can't get to the house, they can still worship with us. Amen. Give it to us again, Pastor. It's livestream.com and if you go to the search bar, you type in Centered Life Live. Amen. Amen. You know, Pastor, I'm so excited, as I know you are, on what God is doing, how he is building the body of Christ as a whole, and then the things that are going on at Memorial. We've got some great things happening just this month, don't we? We really do. You know, as we get ready to celebrate Easter, it gets real chaotic. It gets real busy. But we thank God that he has a plan for the house. And so our March um, special celebrations are actually kick off with you on the 12th at um, 11 a.m. with our Esther Women's Luncheon. Yes. And, um, and I understand there's going to be a dynamic woman of God bringing the message to the women. And so we're just looking forward to what God's going to do in, in that venue. Amen. We have, my goodness, you know, at Memorial, there are so many ministries that are representing and working for the body of Christ. And Esther is just one of them. And when we have our Esther luncheon on the 12th, on March, Saturday, March 12th, our special guest speaker will be Elder Gwendolyn Doss. And she really is a dynamic woman of God. Yes, she is. I've known her for many, many years. She's a beautiful, a beautiful lady in God and a dynamic woman of God. We're comes to bringing his word. Amen. And and I, I just, I'll just, you know, just go in the natural just a little bit. And she is not only my sister in Christ, but she is my baby sister in the natural. Yes. Hallelujah. We love God, we do love him. You know, y'all going to be blowing up that Saturday because then following that 
at 6 in the evening, Wisdom Over Hustle is going to be doing um, Lyrical Bliss, which will be a night of um, of Christian um, rap artists here in the house just letting God use them. It's going to be a lot of new artists, artists who haven't been featured in a lot of the um, other concerts that's been happening around, so this is an opportunity for them to share their ministry. That's going to be at um, 6.30 um, downstairs in the Fellowship Center. And we know Wisdom Over Hustle is um, run by our own Sean Thomas, a.k.a. Scooter. So we're looking forward to that as well. <laughs> hey, man. You know, I often joke with Sean. I said, did, did I give birth to a Scooter? He <laughs> said, yes, Mom, you did, okay? So I got to get in, in, the, in the routine, even after all these years, and saying Scooter. And he said, Mama, don't say Sean. Just say Scooter. Scooter. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going I'm to get there. But, you know, uh, give us the address, Pastor, of the church and all that good contact information. We are at 1350 South Lafayette, that's in Florissant, 63031. You can catch us on our website, themtclc.org. We're also on Facebook at themtclc.org. And um, you'll catch us, like I said, live stream for our morning worship at livestream.com, The Centered Life. Um, Centered Life Live, sorry. And um, if you need to call us, 314-921-6825. And, Pastor, that's not all in the month of March. Uh, There's something special we're doing on Easter, right? Absolutely. So Easter morning, we're going to have sunrise service. Now, we're not going to quite be at sunrise. We're going to start service at 7 o'clock. But we're going to come out and we're going to worship the Lord and we're going to honor him for being our risen king. So that's going to be at 7 o'clock and then we'll fellowship and we'll come back at 10 o'clock for our regular morning worship. So there's a lot going on. Um, In addition to that, every Thursday night we have Center Life Bible Study at 7 o'clock in the fellowship hall. You know, you can bring your coffee. We have coffee, tea, hot cocoa as we go over the Word of God. We're studying through the book of Hebrews. And so tonight um, by now, we'll be around chapter ten for those who are hearing this um, hearing this broadcast. So we just thank God for His Word. Yes, yes, yes. His His Word, His uncompromising Word. You know, Pastor, I know that um, uh, of course you've shared um, uh, much of the vision that God has given you for uh, our our home, you know, for our church. But I know that God has, he's still downloading. He's still speaking. It's probably some things that, you know, he's going to even further reveal to you for us. But pastor, from your heart, I know that like this morning, you're preaching right now and there's a sermon, there's something that the Lord has given, but what is on your heart right now, pastor, for the body of Christ as a whole? For the body of Christ as a whole. And and I'm glad just be how this has fallen out with you and Sean ministering at the same time on that Saturday got my heart and what God has given me is to start ministering to families. So um, one of the things that we're going to have coming up soon is we're going to have a tune up weekend for marriages here. And then that's going to spread into some specific ministries for young people. If Satan can destroy the family, he ultimately will destroy the church. And so many people don't understand why they're at odds with their spouses and with their children. This is the work of Satan to make it seem like God's word isn't true in our lives. The Lord made a blueprint for the entire universe, and he based it on relationship and a family relationship with him being our father and us being children. Then he further expressed that through the union of Christ to his church, which physically is represented in every marriage in the body of Christ. So that's where my heart is right now. We just want people to see the glory of God and all their current situations and circumstances. That's the series he has us dealing with. Um, Lord, show us your glory. But in addition to that, we're going to be focusing in on families to get the, to allow Allow the spirit and the power and the glory of God to reign in our family relationships. Amen. Amen. And, you know, we're so blessed because the Lord is just adding to the kingdom as so many families are joining the the, uh, the body of Christ that are joining Memorial. It's just it's just beautiful to see, isn't it? It's awesome. God is doing mighty work, and it's not just in Memorial. The Lord's Word says that He adds daily to the church, such as should be saved. And so as the Word of God is going out into the world, there are myriads of souls 
who come into the kingdom every day. And we just want to put ourselves in a position to be able to minister to whatever souls he allows to come be part of our fellowship. Amen. Amen. Pastor, as we're just now, I mean, we're just in the month of March and it just seems like, oh my goodness, you know, we're just in March. It seems like the days are just going on so fast. Yes. And I know because the days are moving fast, sometimes people think I got, you know, I got I got time or I don't have time. But, Pastor, can you just kind of talk on how if we uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God, he's going to, you know, m- put it all together, you know, because sometimes we can be so frazzled. You know what I'm saying? With so much. You know, and th- so we have three enemies at work. It's not just Satan himself, but then we got this world that's pulling on us for our time. And I say this all the time. The- there's something that wants your time, that wants your focus, but the Lord wants it most. So even in Jesus telling us if we seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, then everything else will, will be added to our lives. It gives us a blueprint for our day that we start with acknowledging him and and not just kneeling in prayer. But after we get up from praying, we have to live in the fact that Christ is present. We have to live the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's how we're acknowledging him in all of our ways. It's not just asking once and going through the day. It's an all day, 24 hour, 365, every moment Mm -hmm. by moment relationship. Spirit of God will begin to reveal more and more truth to us. He pulls down more distractions, more strongholds. He renders the enemy helpless because he's the guy who goes before us. And, and this is just his perfect plan for us, but we want to, we have to come to a point where we'll yield to his plan. Yes. Where we'll yield to his way. Yes, yes. I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in, we're talking this morning with Reverend R.B. Peterson, who is the pastor of Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center. Pastor R.B., I've, I've noticed that, you know, in, in, in when we look at the news, when we just watching just the news, you can get so just overwhelmed and then you, you know it's like you, the world wants you to even get insensitive to so much crisis so many murders so much that's going on you know pastor can you kind of help us and 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 say how do we how do we tune out the noise okay My- tune out the noise so that we can hear from god even in the midst of such despair that's going on in the world yeah, the the way we tune out the voice of the world and the voice of Satan is to get our ears tilted towards God. So the Lord tells us in his word, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, I'll hear you from heaven, I'll forgive your sins, I'll heal your land. With that being the truth, the more we turn our heart towards him, The more we take time to get into his word, the more quiet time that we sit in silence. Even myself, I have to start turning the radio off while I'm driving. Mm -hmm. Let the Spirit of God speak and let him have his way. You know, I I love worship and praise music, and I like the old school stuff. I don't (laughs) even sing this stuff no more. But sometimes it's more important just to be quiet, to Mm -hmm. be healed. And let the Lord speak to us. Let him reveal to us what his will and his way is. And in that in that context, we silence the world when we listen to the Lord more. And even if we have our Bibles in front of us, we read the passage, and then we let the passage speak to our hearts. And, and, and you know, you got to pray God's word. If you're not praying his word, what are you really praying? This is, mm-hmm. this is one of my things. It's like you can say a bunch of stuff. But what is he said? What is he revealed? What does he want you to know about himself? And as we seek after him, we stop seeking his hand. We stop asking him for his stuff. But we ask him for him. The world will quietly get will quietly fade away in terms of all of our attention. It's just like um, in love relationships, you you have to invest time to get to love somebody and know them. My Lord, you got to invest time. That's it. Relationship. It's relationship. Yep. Relationship. That's all it is. 
Mm-hmm. And whoever you love the most, that's who you're going to give your time to. Yes, yes, yes. You know, Pastor, we're almost out of time, but I, I wanted you also to just talk for a moment about uh, the scripture that is uh, that that our church is, is has founded on. There's a special scripture that, you know, we talk about many members. And, and can you kind of share with us your, your thoughts on that? My Lord, you know, that's from... Um, First Corinthians, you know, I'm 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 all over the place. He also told us we was gonna be a house for His glory, so I I stand on that all the time. But our theme scripture for our ministry is First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse twelve, which says, "For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ." And so as we come into unity and faith. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. As we all stand together on his great and precious promises, as we allow his word to convict us, to deliver us. See, that's that's part of that thing. He said, I'll cleanse you and I'll purge you of all unrighteousness. Hmm. He's looking for a holy people, and that's become a dirty word now in the church. Oh, Nobody my. wants to be holy. <laughs> Nobody wants to walk up right before God, but there's a promise. The Lord said... If you walk up right before me, I will not withhold any good thing from you. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it leans us to, to yield to him, to give our lives over to him and really let Jesus be Lord. Let him be Lord of our thought patterns, Lord of our actions, Lord of our word. If it, if, if it didn't come from him, if it's, it doesn't match his ways and his characters, then it shouldn't come from us. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor, it has just been a joy, a joy for you to be on the program today. And I'm just so excited about what God is doing in the body of Christ and at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Pastor, in closing? Oh, what? I just pray God's richest blessings on every house that's open in his name that's declaring this truth and that's drawing people to a true relationship with him. Because what the world needs to see is a real church. They need to see hmm. the true church without spot, without blemish. They need to, The world needs to see us overcoming. They need to see us living in victory. So in turn, they too will want to experience the freedom, the joy, the love, and the peace that comes from having a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. My pastor, Pastor Arby Peterson. Thank you, sir. Love you. Thank you. Listeners, we love you, too. All righty. Amen. Well, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Hi, I'm Angelia Bills, Vice President. President of Communications for the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, and I'm glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And, you know, friends, I'm so excited about my next guest. I tell you, this man of God is not only an entrepreneur, he's uh, a great man of God. He knows the word, studies the word, and preaches the word everywhere, here, there. And I tell you, the Lord is doing some great things in his ministry. And we're just going to talk this morning about what's going on. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Apostle Damon Kelly. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my friend. How are you? I tell you, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. We might as well be happy. (laughs) (laughs) I took the question away from you. I just went on and said it. (laughs) You know I was going to jump in and take it from you, but I'll let you have a turn this time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) I tell you, you know, don't you just feel an electricity in the air on what God is doing in the body of Christ? Absolutely. You know, I was just thinking just the other day how amazing it is that there's so much energy in the body. Mm -hmm. People are doing things all over the city, all over the region, all over the world. There's like a new insurgence of people that are just 
out doing different areas of ministry, women's ministries, men's ministries, youth ministries, outreach, crusades. Everywhere you go, somebody's doing something in the body of Christ. Isn't that great? It's wonderful because simply huh, Jesus is coming soon. Okay. That's right. So That's we right. got to fulfill the destiny. We have got to do what thus saith the Lord. You, you know, I'm right about it. Absolutely. And, and, the, and the time is running short, like you said. So there's an urgency in the air that we've got to get busy while there's yet day. Well, I can I can truly say that no grass grows under your feet, my friend. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I know that's the truth. When they tell me no, uh, when the man get old, he can't work. When the night come, when the night come, I'm going to sit back and let everybody else have their turn. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Well, you Until know, then, I'm going to be busy. Busy. For, for, and not just busy to be busy. Busy, but busy in the kingdom of God, building the kingdom, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, there's so many other things that we can do, and sometimes we're critical of people for what they do and they don't do. But I just appreciate anybody that's given their time, their energy, their talents to building the kingdom of God. And nothing that we do, none of our labor is going unnoticed by God. Yes, yes, yes. You know, uh, there is something that you do that I think really just uh, just helps the body of Christ, just gives us a an outlet of, of fun and, and laughter. And, and so you've got something coming up very soon at the coffee house at Shaw. Tell us about that. Girl, the saints just got to have fun. The saints just got to have fun. And so we are doing what we call Grown and Save Fourth Fridays. And this month is a kickoff to our spring season with our comedy show. We're partnering with No Home Training Entertainment, Brother Stefan Hightower, and he's our host for that night. And we have a host of comedians doing clean comedy. It's not all gospel, but it's clean comedy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you can come and have a good time. I tell you, they packed the place out last year. Yes. And, and people have been talking about it all year long. They couldn't wait. They wanted to do an encore presentation, but we've got an all-new all show this time, a whole new group of co- uh, comics that are coming, and it's just going to be a great evening. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait for it. Now, tell us the, 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 the date, the time, the place, uh, all that good stuff. Well, we're going to be at the Word at Shaw, the coffee house right there on the corner of Tower Grove and Shaw, and it's going to be on Friday. That's Good Friday, March the 25th. Uh, the doors are open at 6 o'clock. And the show will start soon thereby. But I'm telling you in advance, this show will sell out. So don't wait until 8 o'clock and say, I'm going to stumble in and and see what's going on. You better be there by 6 or 6.30 so you can make sure you get in, especially if you don't have your ticket in advance. And uh, we have a good time. There's going to be food there. There's going to be fun. We'll probably do some other interactive things. Uh, And the show will be awesome. I'm telling you in advance, I can't wait to see what they're going to do this time. Oh, I I know it. I know it. We we laughed so hard last time. It was it was fantastic. Now, if people want to call you to get their group tickets and all of that in advance, how can they do that? You know, the best way to reach me, if you know me at all, you know, it's hard to catch me by phone. But the best thing to do is to f- inbox me on Facebook. I'm Damon Cannon, just like that, on Facebook. If you inbox me, or you can go to the website at meetmeatthecross.info, meetmeatthecross.info, and there's a link there where you can buy tickets right there, or you can inbox me or email me from the website. Either way, we want to make it convenient for you to get your tickets. If you have a group that you want to bring out, let me know. We'll do something nice for you. This is for the body of Christ. And so often people get it confused. They think it's just my church thing or my group thing. Mm -hmm. This is something for the body of Christ. If you have a group, if you've got a women's group and you all are looking to get out and do something, Bring them to those cross events. If, you're, if you've got a men's group that you want to do something different, you know, because the brothers, we don't sit around and just hug each other and cry on each other's shoulder like sometimes the other groups do, <laughs> you know. But, but we can come out and have a good time and laugh and eat some chicken and, and kick back for a little bit. So uh, definitely reach out. Let's make this bigger than ever and uh, take advantage of these opportunities in the kingdom. You know, I love that. What you say, eat some chicken. That chicken getting in, isn't it? <laughs> it's necessary. You know, chicken is a requirement in order for you to get to heaven. <laughs> it's a you requirement. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And, you know, uh, you're going to come out. We're going to have a great time on next Friday, Friday, March 11th, because that is the first CBC Evening of Synergy networking event of the year. 
Absolutely, and I'm going to be there assisting. I'll be the guy running around doing all the sweating. But, uh, you know, <laughs> these events are amazing. And, you know, if, if you've never been to a CBC event, don't take it for granted. You just don't know who is in the room. You don't know what type of connection that you're going to make, what type of relationship you're going to build. Uh, it may be just the thing that you're needing. And I have seen, and Nona, you know you've seen it, but I have seen – God make divine connections mm -hmm. in those networking events. Mm -hmm. You may say there's 20 people there, but out of the 20 people there, God has just the two people that you need to see. But this one is going to be special. I think this is going to be like no other. We're there with the Urban League. That's right. And, uh, and uh, I know this is going to be a sellout event. I, I know the tickets are already going fast, and people are responding and exciting. It's going to be an elegant night. And uh, I just can't wait to see what God is going to do. I'm looking for him to open the door for me. What you say, I am excited about it as well. And, you know, uh, I want to tell folks synergy. Because some fo somebody said to me, they said, well, what does uh, uh, the synergy mean? You know, synergy is simply coming together, being yeah. on one accord. All right. And see, this uh, group that that that, uh, that is attracted to the Christian Business Connections, it's, it's business owners, ministries, mm -hmm. organizations individuals, Christian Business Connection. I tell you, with a name like that, Apostle, either you want to find out more or you're like, I don't want nothing to do with that Christian stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's, it's right. so specific. All right? But we want to encourage everyone out to come and fellowship. We want to tell you it's going to be at 3701 Grandel Square. That is right there in the Urban League Metropolitan St. Louis Incorporated. That's where it's at. I'm so grateful that they are uh, partnering with me for this. And, you know, that's only God, isn't it? Isn't it a blessing how he does it? And I meant to share this with you. I was watching on Christian television, and I forgot who it was that preached a message or else I would give them credit. So I'm just going to give the credit to God. They were saying that a lot of people are seeking to have balance in their life. Mm -hmm. And they said that the, the goal is to have balance. You need balance. And they say you don't need balance. You need synergy. And you know that made me stand up when I heard that. <laughs> and, and I said, oh, what do you mean? You don't need balance. You need synergy. They said balance means that if you take everything in your life and you divide it up, you know, by e equally, that gives you balance. So much time at work, so much time with your children, so much time with this. But there's a time that God has a timing and a place that you need to give more to one thing or another thing. There's a time, there's a divine appointment, if you will, that, that God has set aside for you to propel to the next place, to that thing that you're trying to do. God has already prepared it for that night, and that's where synergy comes in. It's being at the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing. <laughs> and when all of those things come together at the same time, that's when something cataclysmic happens. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I mean, yes. It, it's something amazing that's going to take place. And what if this is your night? What if this is the time that you need to be right in that place to make something that you've been waiting for for generations to come to pass? And now at this moment, God has designed that moment for you. I mean, that just set me up. I was I was ready to run and just say, let's move the event up and make it happen today because you just don't know when that moment is going to be. That's it. That's it. And you, you, I always want to be where I know the Lord is going to be at. You know what I'm saying? And he meets us every single time we have an event. And, you know, I wanted to make it affordable, Apostle, so mm -hmm. that everyone could have an, an opportunity. The tickets are only $10 in advance. And mm -hmm. if folks choose, well, I'm just going to pay it at the door, then the cost is $20 at the door. But folks right. can go to my website, thecbcradioshow.com, and they can get their tickets in advance, I'm telling you, it's going to be a sellout. They're going to have to hurry. Don't you agree? I was thinking that I was, some people are going to be disappointed because they're going to wait. They're going to wait till that last minute and say, oh, I'll just decide and see what I've got to do. This is not that event. You really need to set aside the time. You need to clear your schedule and make sure that you're there, that you go get your fresh stack of business cards and get your brochures. And you almost need to have a contract or two ready just to do business that night. You never know what God is going to do. But don't wait till the last minute. This is not that event. We've been to events where we've already had them sold out and people come and say, oh, there's no more room or I can't get in. I really want to be a part. Don't miss out. This is not the event to play with. We definitely want to see you there. We want you to be there early 
and stay all night. Oh, my, 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 my. And then also I want to tell folks that I do have a couple of booths left. If you have your business ministry organization, you want to promote it, you want to be there to, to see so folks can see you even on a bigger display, contact me. I only got a couple left. But let me say this, Apostle. Mm -hmm. Because of what God is doing in the earth right now, the, yeah. he, the stage is set. I know that sometimes people get tired of hearing prophecy and saying, this is your year, this is your season, mm -hmm. it's going to blow up, this, that, and the other. But I'm telling you, and I want you to, uh, you know, if you agree with this in the spirit, that this truly is the season for mm -hmm. prosperity, not just financial, but prosperity in your life. Those who have held on, those who have been fighting the good fight, this is the the season to bloom. What do you think about that? Well, the thief comes but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Wouldn't it have been all right if he just stopped and said, I came so you could have life? Hmm. Wouldn't we be satisfied if we just had life alone? I mean, wouldn't that be enough for us? Hmm. But he was not satisfied with us just surviving not with us just having life, not with us just making it. But he began to prophesy in our lives abundance. Come on, God is already speaking abundance in your life. He's speaking extra. He's speaking not just making it, but he's speaking giving you enough so you can really become the lender and not the borrower. I mean, do you ever think that we're going to be in that place where God can really allow the flow to come through us to where there's really so much that we don't have room enough to receive it? I mean, that is the season that God prophesied. This is not my prophecy. Hmm. This is not your prophecy. This is what God spoke, that he was going to open up the windows and pour out blessings that you would not have room enough to receive. And I'm clearing out space, so when your, when your storage gets full, I can catch the overflow. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, I know everybody's looking for their blessing, but I want you to get to that place to where you're not just blessed, but you run out of space. My God. Where, 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 where you don't have enough room. You can't even stand to be blessed so much. I mean, God is wanting to do things like that that blow our minds all over again. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's good news on a Sunday morning. I do believe, Apostle. <laughs> amen, amen. And this is my moment. This is my moment. Pastor Avery Sanders, his grandfather, used to come to church every day over at Shiloh Temple, and he would say, this is my day. Mm. And I'm going to declare that today. I'm going to declare this Sunday, say, this is my day. I don't care what anybody else is doing. I'm not waiting for you to catch it. I'm not hoping that you get it. I want you to know for myself that this is my day. Hallelujah. Well, you know what? I think we're going to end on that because I believe the listeners, folks listening can say, this is my day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I can't wait to see you, my friend, on this coming Friday at the evening of Synergy at the Urban League. Thank you for being a part of the show today. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you there. All righty. God bless you. All right. God bless you. Bye-bye. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of Synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Hi, this is Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Glad to be here with evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC radio show. Friends, you know, I am so excited because we had such a great time when we debuted in February our CBC Comedy Nuggets with none other than the Bishop of Comedy, Reggie Ridge himself. And you know what? We're going to continue that in the month of March. And so I have the Bishop here with me in the studio. And, you know, we're just going to talk about March. How about that? As we march into victory. Does that sound good to you, Bishop of comedy, Mr. Reggie Reg. You know what? That sounds really good to me. March on in the 
March. March in the March. Hey! <laughs> That's funny. Well, I like that. Well, you know, before I go too further, you know there's a question that I always ask every guest, and that sure. is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Amen. Every day is a day of Thanksgiving, and this is the day that the Lord has made. I'm kicking them glory clouds, I'm telling you. <laughs> Amen. You're rejoicing, and we sure are glad in it. Amen. 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 Well, you know, it was just a blessing. We ha- we just got such wonderful reviews on our CBC Comedy Nuggets, because Christian's got to laugh, too, in February, so I want to keep this thing going. Are you excited about it? I am very, very excited. Like I said, I'm just, this is what I do. This is what the gift God has given me to do is to make the saints laugh. So we know saints can laugh too, but sometimes you got to dig deep and get it out of them. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, well, you know what? Because, you know, real talk, the, the world, situations of life, they just pile and pile and pile on top of you. And you need a release. You know what I'm saying? Woo! You you hit it right on the head. <laughs> Relief is what it is, and I am he. I am he who has been sent to relieve you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I know uh, you got some special things that kind of were in your heart, and each week you kind of got a theme on uh, your comedy nugget. Don't tell everybody what it is, because we're going to hear later on in the program your first one for this week. But tell us how that came about. Well, it just, you know, I thought of it about three, four, five seconds ago. And, and, you know, it's just something that, you know, even when I'm on stage, you know, I do have my regular set. And then there's things that God gives me to give to the people, and I just let it flow out of my mouth. Amen. Amen. Because, you know, I think uh, people should know that, yes, your your stage, uh, you know, you are the Bishop of Comedy, but you are also an ordained minister in the body of Christ. So it kind of helps bring all that together, doesn't it? Amen. Give a shout out to Northside Missionary Baptist Church where my pastor <laughs> is Reverend Roderick K. Burton. I love you, man. Yeah, but the uh, but but that's it. You know, God, you know, has truly, truly blessed me uh to to have to be in the gift of preaching as well, you know, and uh just you know, recently just a whole month of February I was on tour and uh just, just ran into some wonderful people but, but this is what I do. And what's and I, I know that I know this is what you do. It's like you were born. Did you come, you think you came out of the womb laughing? Well, I did. I did. I came. I told you earlier. I came out as a joke because I was really too light skinned for my mama, and she was like, "That ain't my baby." And so you know, but that was a whole nother issue. And I mean, we had to bribe her. My grandmother gave a hundred dollars to bring me home and all of that. You know. But she grew to like me. You know, she grew to love me. And I just thank my mama for that. Hallelujah. (laughs) Hallelujah. Well, I tell you, I I didn't want to steal too much of your time this morning because I know you're probably moving, traveling, booking, all that good stuff. But but let me me say this, because as a, a, a licensed minister, you do preach the gospel. You travel doing that as well as your comedy shows. How can people get in contact with you if they'd like you to come to their church or their organization or what have you? Well, they can most definitely, uh, they, I, I give my phone number out. You know, I don't, you ain't got to call this manager to call this manager. But you can call me personally at 314-398-4587, 314-398-4587. And you can also uh, reach me on Facebook, Saints can laugh too that's t-o-o uh saints can laugh too on facebook i I think i got enough room for about 300 more people uh this is my third page but you know it's filling up fast but (laughs) but most definitely get me now that phone number gonna stay the same though you can reach me there i'm on youtube the bishop of comedy one word on youtube so you can say well is he really funny well you go see for yourself then come holla at your boy all right all right the proof the proof (laughs) is in it. Well, you know, I thank you for being a part of what God is doing here on the CBC radio show. And you know, our evening of Synergy networking event is coming up next Friday. We're going to see you there. You know what? I am going to really try my best to be there. Really try my best to be there just to support you. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. Indeed. Well, we're looking having a great time. Thank you, the Bishop of Comedy, Brother Reggie Ridge. Thank you for being on the program. God bless you. And thank you for your program and keep doing what you're doing for the Lord. (laughs) (laughs) Amen. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hello, 
How you doing? This is Reggie Riz, the Bishop of Comedy. You're listening to the CBC Comedy Nugget. Today, my friends, we're going to talk about hope. That's right. We're going to hope that one day that we all hit the lottery. Hallelujah. No, for real, though. Well, we're going to talk about hope in Jesus because it's good to have hope in somebody that created you. God bless you. We love you to life. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be speaking this morning with Pastor Kevin Todd of the Basics of the Faith Ministry. I'm so excited about the event that he has coming up because it is truly, truly needed in not just the body of Christ, but in the world, in this region. So I want to get right to it. Good morning, Pastor Todd. Good morning, Evangelist. How are you? I am excellent. Now, I did not prep you on this question, all right? But I asked mm. everybody who comes on the show, and that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Amen. Yes, it is. And I'm going to rejoice as I always do, and I'm glad in it. Amen. Now, you, you get a gold star this morning. You, that, <laughs> that's the right answer. That's the right answer. You got a star. <laughs> Amen. Well, you know, here we are in the month of March, and Easter mm-hmm. is fast approaching, you know, as we celebrate, hallelujah, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. And the Lord placed something very special on your heart, uh, a historical workshop for the resurrection of Christ. Tell us about that. Well, what happens is that many people outside of Christianity, and sometimes even within the body of Christ, uh, we we believe in the resurrection in many cases just simply because people told us that it it happened. And and thank God for that, that some of us are able to approach Christ and come to Christ just based on uh, the the word of somebody else. Hey, the resurrection really took place. Do you believe it? I do. And, And, you know, we go on to become Christians. But there are other people like myself, in order for me to become a Christian, my pastor, who's my pastor now, Damon Cannon, had to sit down with me a long time ago and go through a lot of data and facts, and I'm that kind of a person. My my mind is really forensic that way, and there are a lot of other people like me. So if you want to be able to approach that individual, what we're going to be doing is presenting a workshop on the historical data that points us to, or, or should I say the evidence that points us to the resurrection of Jesus Christ as a literal historical event, not a myth, but something that actually took place in history. I love what you said that you said you're presenting the evidence <laughs> because there mm-hmm. is specific evidence. And, and what, what I like about that, you're presenting it, but you're not going to argue with people about it, are you? Well, the evidence in, in many, like they say, the evidence speaks for itself. Of course, there are those who are opposed to it. That, but I can tell you this, that there are skeptics who are scholars in this area who study it. And they, even though they don't draw the conclusion that a resurrection happened, they will admit, being skeptics and unbelievers, that the tomb on that day was, in fact, empty. Now, they draw the conclusions. They may say that... Maybe somebody stole Jesus' body. They may say that maybe he wasn't really dead and he walked away. They may say a number of things, but we're going to present evidence to the contrary that day to say that, no, he actually did resurrect as he promised that he would. Yes, as he promised that he would. You know, and, and, and where is that promise found? It's found in the Word of God. You know, simply put, also, Pastor, folks just need to read their Bible, don't they? Amen. You know, the, the Bible is... Is, is is God's word. You know, we can doubt it if we like, but it is what it says it is. It is his word. The, the, the word teaches us itself that when God says it, it won't come back void. And so Jesus was the word incarnate. Amen. And so he tells us all throughout the Gospels that I will rise again. And he told he told his disciples that they didn't believe it in the beginning. They were like, well, what is he referring to? And, you know, when he talked about uh, for example, the temple being destroyed, and in three days he'll build it again. He was talking about his body, the Word of God tells us. If we just simply read, then we can go back and see that, hey, he promised this. He mm-hmm. said it was going to happen. And and the Word of God is not a mythological book. It is an actual book hmm. that is founded in many cases in, in historical data. 
Yes, yes, yes. And now, Pastor, I know that uh, this workshop and, and the information and all that you're going to share with folks who come, I know that it was given to you and how to present it by the Holy Ghost. And I, I believe I, I would be safe to say that you did some studying. You did. It took some time to put this information together. Am I right? Hey, man, as, as I mentioned, you know, when I came to Christ, I was a skeptic. I was uh, that kind of person who you may see who I, who didn't believe. To me, the Bible was a book that was written by man, um, that it, it was not a book that was inspired by God it, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I, I did. I had to do a lot of research and study uh, in order to come to faith. And then years after that, I still, not to come to faith today, but I do research and study to help those who are lost to know and understand this book that we call Bible uh, as the true Word of God and and present people with facts. You know, so often we're we're believing things that are not necessarily true, even outside of the Bible. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I, I do a lot of reading, I do a lot of research, and and so yeah, it takes a lot of study and, and, and digging. Yes, yes. And, you know, we're in a time right now where people are looking, they're searching, they, they're they searching for answers. They're searching for, uh, I've heard folks say, for something that's greater than them. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and sometimes in the search, in the journey, folks land in the wrong place. OK. Mm-hmm. And so this is not just for folks who are seeking the Lord, but also folks who are currently in the body. Am, am I right? You said it exactly right. Oftentimes, last uh, Tuesday night, we were in Bible study, or actually, I think it was uh, Sunday, in church service, and uh, my pastor, Pastor Cannon, was talking about there are three parts to being in, in, in the church, right? Sometimes you're the student, sometimes you're the teacher, sometimes you're in the class, and the teacher and the student part are very uh, clear, you know, if you're the teacher, then obviously you're teaching. If you're the student, then obviously you're learning. But sometimes you're the, in the class, which means maybe you know the material, but you don't exactly know how to present it. And so what happens with a workshop like this, perhaps we believe in uh, the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We're not necessarily sure on how we can present that information to somebody else. So even those of us in the body, I believe, can take away something from this workshop. Now, so, Pastor, what you're saying is this historical uh, data, the information, the workshop, this can be a witnessing tool for those who attend to spread the word to others. Am I right? Hey, man, I, I do not want this for any of us in the body of Christ to be a head exercise only, where you come and you walk away with a lot of information. A lot of information will be given, but... If it remains as just information that you have for you and you walk off, then, then you miss you miss the big picture. The big picture is that you have information that you use to evangelize. All of us are ministers. I may be an, apo- uh, an apostle or a pastor or an evangelist or whatever, but every one of us are ministers. Mm-hmm. That is, we're, we're to go out and, and uh, win souls for the kingdom. It's not up to us to convince. It's up to us to present. Yes. And so if you take the information and just hold on to it, then, then, you know, you're being selfish. Uh, I, I, I would urge everybody to take the information, make sure you understand it clearly, study it, ask questions. We will have a question and answer period. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so ask questions to get clarity. But then, yeah, go out and present. Don't just keep it to yourself. That's right. That's right. Well, I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, I'm talking with Pastor Kevin Todd of the Basics of the Faith Ministry. Now, Pastor Todd, tell us where this is going to be held, what time, all that good stuff. Telephone number. Go right ahead. Okay. Well, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Pastor Hedwig Felice, is the pastor of the Abundant Life Community Church down on 1216 Sydney. And he has opened his doors to allow us to come in and present this workshop. Uh, it's going to be held Saturday, March the 26th. Uh, we're going to have two sessions, uh, a session in English, actually, and a session in Spanish. The session in Spanish is going to be that morning between 9 and 12 in the afternoon. We're going to do it in English between 1 and 3. Um, so the first hour will be the presentation, and then the last hour uh, will be a time for question and answer. Wonderful. Give us that address one more time. And is there a phone number that folks can get in contact with you as well? The address is 1216 Sydney, 
S I D N E Y, St. Louis, Missouri, 63104. Um, the easiest way to get there is if you're coming south on 55, you'll get off at Arsenal. You're going to make a left toward Anheuser Busch and make another left before you turn in there. Go down two stop signs, and the church is on the right. Wonderful. Now, you know, I, I'm, I'm just going to just be a little prophetic right here when I say this, because I do believe that this is something, this workshop is something that really can go from church to church, organization to organization, that you Amen. can take this workshop uh, throughout this region. Would you be willing to do that? And if so, can people contact you if they would like to have information about you bringing that workshop to their church? can give my email address. It is the basic of the faith at gmail.com. And if any church or pastor would be interested in having their workshop presented at their church, we definitely can make that arrangement. Yes, ma'am. Well, Pastor, give us the phone number where folks can get in contact with you if they'd like this workshop uh, to come to their church or to their organization. Okay, so you can reach me at 314-643-7050. Uh, also have email the basics of the faith at gmail dot com and either one of those two will work. I'll get back to you. And uh, yeah, if you if you want to have the workshop at your church or, or organization, I'll be more than glad to do it. Give us that contact information one more time, Pastor Todd. The number is three one four six four three seven zero five zero, and my email address is the basics of the faith at gmail.com. Wonderful, wonderful. We're just about out of time. Is there anything else that you want to say to our audience from your heart this morning? I I would just like to add that please take our Lord's resurrection seriously. Um, We know and we preach very well that he died on the cross, but the the most important part, he he suffered a great deal on the cross, and if it were not for suffering, our sins wouldn't wouldn't be paid. Amen. But it's because he was raised from the dead that Paul said, had he not been raised, then our faith would be in vain. And so it is the resurrection that is so vitally important to that formula for salvation. Uh, Understanding that and being able to present it in case that question is asked as a historical fact, not just what we just take to believe, is is vitally important, I think, as well. Amen. And I I also want to thank you for having me on the show I uh, greatly appreciate you taking out the time. Well, I tell you, I'm excited about it. You're trying to make me look at my schedule so I can find out if I can be there, okay? Because <laughs> I think it's going to be wonderful. But let me ask you, Pastor, can you come back on the show and talk with us more about it as we lead up to the event? Oh, yeah, definitely. If you have me back, I'll definitely be willing to do it. Great, great, great. Well, thank you again, Pastor Kevin Todd of the Basics of the Faith Ministry. Have a wonderful day, man of God. God bless you. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of Synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Friends, thank you for listening to the CBC Radio Show this morning. I tell you, the Lord met us here as he always does. I want to thank my guest, my pastor, Pastor R.B. Peterson of Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center for being a part of the show today. As always, you bless us, man of God. Thank you so much. And also, I want to thank Apostle Damon Cannon, my friend. Oh, you know, y'all, he's got a lot of stuff coming on. He's always doing something in the body of Christ that's being productive and giving God glory. And so he has got an evening of laughter that is coming up on Friday, March 25th. It's going to be at the Coffee House at Shaw. Now you can go to my website for more information, thecbcradioshow.com. So you can look at that flyer and be a part of that comedy night. And then I want to thank none other than the Bishop of Comedy, Reggie Reg, because we talked with him and he's going to be giving us our Christian comedy nuggets all this month. Thank you, man of God, for taking time to stop by the CBC radio show. And then I want to thank Pastor Kevin Todd of the Basics of the Faith Ministry.
oh, support what he's doing. Go to my website. You'll also see information about his upcoming historical data workshop for the resurrection of Christ. He's going to be there giving you great knowledge and great wisdom in regards to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Friends, we've had a wonderful time. I want to thank you. I hope to see all of you at the evening of Synergy this Friday, March 11th. It's going to be at the Urban League Metropolitan St. Louis, right there at 3701 Grando Square. Go to my website, thecbcradioshow.com. You can purchase your tickets online in advance for only $10 and $20 at the door. It is truly worth it either way you choose to do it. Great networking platforms, food, beverages, vendor booths are available. I only got a couple more, so Give me a call, 314-270-2225. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the program today. It's an honor. It's a privilege to be a part of what God is doing in the body of Christ. And friends, let me share this with you, debuting this information today right here on the CBC Radio Show at the upcoming evening of Synergy this Friday. We are going to be recording footage for my new television program, The Christian Business Connection. So come on out. We're going to have a good Good time, you know, just kind of, you know, look your best and all that good stuff so you can be a part of the TV show. OK, we're going to have a great, great time. You know, I just thank God for the opportunities and the things that he has opened for the Christian Business Connection. I'm just so grateful to what he is doing. I want to tell you in these last seconds that I have in this broadcast that if you have been standing on God's word, if you have been faithful, I didn't say perfect. <laughs> I said faithful. OK, over what God has given you. And I'm telling you, not even faithful every day. All right. But that you have had a heart that has been tuned towards the Lord. And perhaps in 2015 and maybe some days in 2016, it has been very challenging. You wondered how you're going to make it, if you're going to make it, or if you want to make it. I want to tell you that this is the season. This is your time. You know, you have endured and the race is not given to the swift, y'all, but those those who endure to the end. Let me tell you, this is your time. This is your season. I pray that you are being encouraged. I can't wait to see you on this Friday for the CBC Evening of Synergy at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, 3701 Grandel Square. Go to my website, the CBC Radio Show. Dot com to get your tickets in advance. And thank you once again to the Urban League for partnering with me. As always, my friends, in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.